Alright guys, Terry Doctor here and today I'm bringing you some more news for future updates in Hell Let Loose and we're going to get started with the M97 trench gun. So this is the shotgun, a pump action shotgun. I am really looking forward to using the shotgun. I recently did a Rising Storm video which is a Pacific based World War II shooter and I used the shotgun quite a bit in that. It was mainly against bots but it was so much fun using that shotgun. And I've seen a lot of people say that this shotgun's going to be completely useless in Hell Let Loose. But I really don't think it is. This shotgun in close quarters could be absolutely devastating. Based on where you're shooting from, like your angle of your shot, you could potentially be taking out multiple people with one shot. And with the spread of the pellets, it's going to make just shooting, like hip fire shooting, a lot better easier as well in close quarters because you're probably more likely to hit your target when this weapon comes out i am gonna try and use it to its full capacity i'm gonna learn how to use it really really well and i think it really comes down to learning its one hit kill range with a center mass shot once you learn that you can get yourself into those situations where you can just beast people. So stay tuned for that because I hope this comes in the next update. We also have a sneak peek of some upcoming Soviet cosmetics coming out. No news on whether this is going to be paid cosmetics or not because it looks like that some cosmetics that get released in the future will be chargeable but others won't be so I'm not sure on this. But first we have the Soviet Soviet Navy uniform, and I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong. The Telnyashka. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've said that right. So you can demolish me in the comments for that. And yeah, as I said, this is a Navy uniform. That doesn't confirm that we're getting boats in the game, so don't think that. And we also have the Soviet Plash Palatka Poncho, and this was just like a common piece of clothing that they used to help with wet weather in World War II. They first started using this sort of thing in 1791 and they just kept using them and using them throughout well throughout multiple wars really. But I do like this cosmetic. It's kind of I would say it's kind of unique for Hell at Loose because it has the poncho. While the Germans do have the you know the schmocks, I like the look of this one. I just really do. And yeah, you can tell it is literally just something that they've just tied around themselves with a the little uh, rope near the neck. It looks pretty cool. The long awaited patch that's currently being tested in the PTE is also due to drop within the next two weeks, which is amazing news. And along with a huge optimization pass, which is going to increase the frame rate across every single map. And I'll be doing a comparison of the maps with and without this new patch. So, you know, stay tuned to the channel for that. So I can show you how many more frames we get, you know, with this patch. I'll be using the admin camera to, you know, sort of fly through some maps with like a full server. So we can actually see some like real world performance gains instead of how I used to do it, which was just running through empty maps. So I'll be doing it now with like a full server. So it's going to be you know, a better comparison. But we're also getting a huge amount of bug fixes as well, along with some other slight changes. One which I really, really like, which is that downed players will no longer block spawn points. Now, before, if you spawn near a garrison, you kill a player without a headshot or without an explosion, so he's still, you know, revivable. He could just stay in that state and it will still block everyone spawn on that garrison. I've always thought they should just make it so if you shoot a downed player in the head, you know, they're down, they're dead, fully dead. Or if you meleeed them when they were down as well, it fully kills them. But it looks like we're just getting this change instead, which is great. It's, it's like a really small change, but it's, it is really good. And yeah, that's it for this update. It's a small update for Hell Let Loose. I've I've waited a few weeks to do another one of these videos because with each of the weekly dev briefings, it's been like a small amount of like new content and new things they've announced. They have put out a lot of 
content creator videos on these dev briefings so i urge you guys to you know check out these weekly dev briefings because you'll be linked to some like great videos that are being put out there but if you like this video guys please give it a like subscribe for more and thank you for watching